Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can escalate your privileges on a Windows environment by using Group Policy Preferences, GPP. So in this specific video I'm using the box Courier from Hack the Box. I hope that I pronunciate it in the right way. So I already have a low privilege shell, let's see you and I. Um, courier MSSQL SVC. So let's see how we can escalate our privilege. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to upload a file called PowerUp PS1. It's a PowerShell script and check some basics to do some privilege escalation. Okay. So in order to do that, I am going to get the file PowerUp PS1 from my attacker box. So I'll fire up a Python simple HTTP server. <clears throat> okay, so we'll get the file with the following command invoke web request 10, 10, 14, 16. Uh, the IP of my box 8000 for the simple HTTP server port and the file name powerup.ps1. Uh, let's say save this file under where it can be under um, C users uh, MSQL SVC and downloads. Let's say download and save it as powerup.ps1. Uh, that looks fine so far. We got the file. We got the file, so let's go to this directory here. Change direction to this directory. Let's check out if we got the file. Power up PS1. Okay, it's here. So, in order to uh, in order to use this file, we need to import the module first. Let's use this com command import module uh, power up ps1 we'll run the file and say uh, invoke all checks let's wait for a while all right after a while um, Power up script just checks some privilege escalation methods that can be uh, applied on this box. So the first thing it shows is say impersonate privilege is enabled on the box. So maybe we can do some um, impersonations using the tokens. We can check it out with who am I slash priv or who am I slash all. We can check this out later. Um, there are some insecure service permissions, probably. We can also use this one. <clears throat> uh, we see that maybe DLL hijack or DLL injection may be uh, possible on this box. Unattended XMLs are uh, exist under this directory, so it should be good if we can check this file out. And the thing that we are interested in is there is a cache GPP files under program data, Microsoft group policy history. So those files are cached and and whether you can just go to this file, read it, and there will be a CPAS uh, parameter in it. And it holds the um, encrypted version of the password. So you can just basically uh, use a program, a script to decrypt this password, but thanks to PowerUp, it already involves the decryption process in it. So it just gives us the password file here. So anyway, uh, we can just use these username and passwords to log into the system as administrator. So for this purpose, I'm gonna use um, PSXX script, uh, it's already in the Kali, so you can just say locate PSXX.py, they're under impact at examples directory. 
we'll go there and use the psxpy and the syntax will gonna be like a username which is the administrator um, then column and the password let's take this then add the IP address 10 10 10 1 2 5 let's wait for a couple of minutes maybe minutes yeah It's going to take a while. Okay, we got the shell, by the way. Let's check out where my... It will show in the other system. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.